Oh my god. 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 Today I will show you five common problems which you can fix from post production if you're editing a non professional documentary. You want to know how to create simple animations? Let me show you. So the first thing is taking a giant screenshot of your Google Maps location. You can take it directly from Google Maps or in my case I need a much bigger area. So I will take this system and I will find it. There it is. We will choose a satellite map. We will back to San Francisco. So we will just go back to Europe. There's Czech Republic. There should be Slovakia somewhere. So I found my city. Think so? No, it didn't. Oh, it's a different city. Well, it doesn't matter. It will shove in, set the dimension. What it will do is it will render out the whole map and then you will need something that can take that extra screenshot and just click the icon and tell it what you need. It will start capturing, zooming in and out. Don't get scared. It's just doing its thing. That will export it and give it you the full screenshot in full render. These screenshots can take loads amount of space because they are just huge. This is 50 megabytes and the full thing is 130 megabytes for one image. So just remember to not make the screenshot too big. The next thing you will do is open up Photoshop, put your screenshot over the whole thing and in the size where you want it. For me the vertical type worked better because I will be zooming in and moving the camera down. So I need the photo to be vertical so I can zoom it in. Slash the map in, smash over the map where the road would go, then paint over it the thing which you need which in my case is this blue line i just drew it from the original screenshot and that's where the line will go now simple enough export both layers separately so export the map and then you just export the line as png with transparency turned on or if it doesn't work you can also change the blending mode in uh, your editing software later then go to your favorite editing software i chose hitfilm because it for me, it works better for animations. Create a new project. I chose 4K and the highest resolution so I can zoom it in later if I need to reframe something. So, slap in the map. Giant, it's humongous. You will need to maybe move the layer and stuff. I know this looks like After Effects, but you can do this in any editing software. It's not a problem. Then, slap in blue line which you created or the line where you needed the thing to go. Now, I can create a point uh, so I can move both layers, but you don't have to. What you can do instead is as high resolution as possible and then zoom it in later once the animation is created. How to do the animation, how to animate this line, it's simple enough. Create a new mask and we will shape it. So I only have two points here. Oh wait, you cannot see the other one. Well damn, how do I show you the other one? You can see there are just two points created. So what I did is I created one tiny mask in the beginning and in the end I created the mask where uh, it would show the whole thing. And now the mask will move from one point to another and slowly show the, the animation. Like right here, it's this big then it's bigger it automatically changes the mask size so when it reaches the other point it will have the full size now if you can't have the option to create a point what i did is i just linked both layers uh, the map and the line to this point but you can also copy the same attributes and move forward both of the layers at the same time. This is just a bit easier. I animate the position at the start and let's put it over here so you can actually see it like I wanted to go over here. And now the whole thing will move with the animation. Simple enough, right? Now we can just export it, move it back to DaVinci Resolve and that's it. So if you need to, you can reanimate it afterwards if it's in good enough resolution. We exported it at 4K, which means that we can zoom it two times without losing any detail. So I turn on dynamic zoom and it will automatically zoom in. Oh, wait a minute. Now it's zooming out, we'll swap it and now it should be zooming in, slowly going in and you can zoom it in any, any way you want and it should be completely fine go crazy okay so ease it in zoom it out do whatever you need to just remember to add the google and maxar satellite information because apparently it's pretty important for them and if you didn't know this you should subscribe and if you like documentaries check this video about these rgb lights right now because these can save you a lot of money okay goodbye boom